registers in the Mitsubishi PLCs we use registers to store the data PLC relay store the data in the form of bits 0 or 1 but the large value which contains calculations measurements these cannot be stored in the in the relays for this purpose we use registers values of the calculations can be stored in the registers of the controllers of the FX family registers are of two types one is 16 bit and the other is a double word or 32 bit <coughs> registers are 16 bit one or registers are 16 bits or one word wide you can create double word registers capable of storing 32 bit values by combining two consecutive data registers this is one data register starts from 0 to 15 and it can it contains 16 bits this is 16 bit data register and every bit can be stored in these places and these squares if you want to store the double word which contains 32 bit for this purpose we use two registers one is this one this is 16 bit register and the other one is also 16 bit register both register combined to store the double word or 32 bit data now the register can store values from this video 0000H to FFFH that is minus 32768 uh, 2 plus 32767 double word register can store values from this much value to this much value that is this is the huge number you can count it yourself to minus 21474836488 and plus 21474836487 the controllers of the, of the FX family have a large number of instructions for using and manipulating registers you can write and read values to and from registers you can write the value to the register and it can also read the value from the register copy the content of the registers and you can make different kinds of operation like compare the data and perform math functions on their content data registers those that i have already discussed there are two types of register one is 16 bit and the other one is 32 bit these are the two data register which are denoted with d the value of d for example what happens when the plc switched off or stopped and in the registers there are of two kinds one is normal register and the other one is the latest register in addition to the normal registers those contents are lost when the plc stopped or the power supply is turned off the fx plcs also have latest registers whose content are retained in the situation when the plc state is turned off the data in the normal register is deleted but when the plc state is turned off the data in the latest registers will not be deleted and we can also return the data of normal register how we can return when special relay m8033 is set the, is set the contents of the unlike data registers are also not cleared when the plc stop we use special relay m8033 to retain the data of normal registers when this is turned on it will retain the data of the normal registers the register are denoted with d types there the, these are the world devices two registers can be combined to store double world values possible device values there are two value uh, two types of registers 16 bit data register whose value is this one this, that I have already discussed and other one is 32 bit re data register this value is this number huge number that I have already discussed before in the Mitsubishi families FX 1S the normal registers are 128 starting from D0 to D127 and the late registers are 128 starting from D128 to D2 double five in fx1n one one n, there are 128 unlaid un un normal registers starting from d0 to d127 and 7872 latest registers in fx1n starting from d128 128 to d799 in fx2n and fx2nc 200 normal registers starting from d0 to d199 and there are latest registers of 312 starting from d 200 to D511 and also there are late registers 7488 starting from 512 to D799 and in FX3U there are 200 normal registers starting from D0 to D199 and there are two kinds of late registers in FX3U one is starting from five, one is uh, 524 in number starting from M500 to M1023 and the second big number is 6656 data unleashed these are the latest registers starting from M1024 to M7679 you can also configure these registers a latest registers with the PLC parameters so these are the different kinds of data registers that we use in PLCs we need to discover these registers and make practice on these registers we have used already these registers in different kinds of programs that you can also learn on this youtube channel so use these registers in different kinds of programs so that you can practice it thank you so much for watching this video